Hiya, Richard Bradshaw here for the Huntsman Channel. Now today we're going to be taking a, a look at this rifle, it's the Daystate Huntsman Classic 0.177 calibre. Now in the previous two videos I looked at the Daystate Airwolf, uh, a lovely well balanced rifle, uh, very accurate, uh, shooting or hunting, uh, the Airwolf proved an exceptional piece of kit. Um, again, the only downsides with the Airwolf uh, was the price. Uh, could be a major stumbling factor for some. Uh, very, it can be an expensive rifle coming in at over £1,300. Uh, that's possibly the only uh, minus I had with the Airwolf. Moving on to the Daystate Air Ranger. Again, a lovely rifle. Uh, highly accurate and let's be honest you wouldn't expect anything less but uh, these rifles coming in at the £1,300 mark and that's the only minuses I could find with the rifles other than that very accurate hunting rifles targets I shall be using today is my trusty squiddle knockdown target which I will be placing at 30 yards and I'll also be throwing a couple of paper targets in uh, about 40 yards and uh, see how we fare with those and especially in these conditions. Now a quick word of safety before I crack on uh, with the targets. Uh, always be aware of a safe backstop whenever you do target shooting. Uh, always pay particular attention to your surroundings and uh, always expect the unexpected. Uh, so I'll not bore you any longer. Let's crack on.
Now this rabbit here, uh, I did spot it about 70 yards out and uh, I've, got, I've got a quite a bit of a breeze going on so I weren't confident in taking the shot at that, at that distance. Not with a 12 foot pound air rifle so I thought I'd just cut it down a bit distance. Uh, successful stalked, I got it down to about 40 yards and uh, I must have been watching this one rabbit for a good 10 minutes. It's basically laid out in some. He's got his back end towards me, I just couldn't get the shot. And I can just make his ears out and his eye. So I just thought I'd uh, purse my lips together and suck. A lot of people put their, put their hand to the mouth and do it that way, try and call rabbits out. I've always found just purse your lips and suck and it's, it gets their attention for that split second. And uh, took the headshot, clean headshot, 40 yards. Nice from the day state huntsman. So that was the Day State Huntsman Classic in 177. Now, pluses and minuses. The first big plus for me would have to be the Italian crafted uh, stock on the Huntsman. It's, uh, it's an exceptional, lovely stock. The price of the rifle is also another big plus for me. Uh, this one comes in about 650 to the 7,500 mark. And uh, for a Day State air rifle, that, I think that's exceptional quality. Um, it is a really nice uh, rifle and uh, excellent value for money in my book. Minuses, now if I'm being picky, it's the cocking bolt. Uh, way, way too shiny for me. Uh, I would have liked uh, either a dull finish or even just a black cocking bolt. I don't know why they've just got to put shiny uh, steel uh, cocking bolts on uh, air rifles. It's like everything dulled down as much as possible when I'm out hunting. Uh, that says me with a CZ style, what's uh, nickel plated. But uh, <laughs> I would just like it to be dulled down a little. Now what some people might see as another minus is the shot count of the Day State Huntsman. Uh, this particular calibre in 177 you're going to get around 60 full power shots. Um, I can honestly say I've, I've took it down to the red mark and it's still, there's hardly any power curve at all. Uh, so that's uh, very nice indeed. Um, if you were taking it target shooting, do take a spare buddy bottle because you're going to need it, uh, a filling bottle. Uh, but out hunting, I find it very rarely. I'll go over the 60 mark. I haven't got rabbits jumping out every which way. So 60, round about 60 for the for the average of wild what's uh, attached to this gun. It's pretty good. It's pretty decent. So not too bad. Not too shabby. So that was the Day State Huntsman Classic in 177 calibre. Another fine rifle from Day State. A rather sexy gun, I may say. Now, before I do pop off and leave you till next time, uh, I would like to mention a few names. Now, down below in the video description box, there will be the relevant links that will take you to the sites. Uh, first up is Malt Bernard of Country Pursuits TV. Excellent videos from Malt, do check his videos out. Uh, Jack Pike. Excellent uh, range in clothing, uh, field hunting, excellent equipment. And Rob Collins of Passy Tom, another worthwhile cause. Uh, do check uh, Rob Collins out on the, on the Passy Tom website. Now, I'm with Richard Bradshaw for the Huntsman channel. Until next time, happy hunting, be safe, see you later, bye bye.
Hiya, and welcome to another episode on the Ultimate Channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at this particular rifle, the Daystay Airwolf. Not a fucking Airwolf. Fucking Airwolf. Daystay Airwolf. Looks like a Ultimate. Poor old static sheep shit here. My ass is wet again. Pesky squirrels. Hiya, and welcome to another episode on the Huntsman Channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Day State Huntsman Classic in point .177 calibre. We'll knock down target at 30 yards and I shall also be using paper targets at 40 yards. Now you will notice through Pheasant. Pheasant! Pheasant! And I think overall a rather sexy looking rifle indeed. I'm Richard Bradshaw for the Huntsman channel. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you later. Bye-bye. Numbers in Tamarin, he's under P. Malk, <clears throat> he's under S. <laughs> Relevant sites, uh, there's one for Jack Pike. One for Mount Bernard of Country Pursuits TV. One for Rob Collins of Passy Tom. Uh, do check, uh, do uh, check that site out. It's uh, a very well worth, uh, well worth. Richard Bradshaw for the Huntsman Channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy hunting. Be safe. See you later. Bye bye. My bum, dear boy. It's fucking killing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs>